Hi everyone, thanks for checking in. Uh, I'm going to talk to you today about our Tree of Life Handlock Muslin, which is our fabric of the week. Um, it's one of my favourite prints, uh, and I know you guys are going to absolutely love it too. So I just wanted to show you a bit, um, if I can, in the flesh of how it kind of works and moves and things. Um, so it's a really beautiful print. Um, it's on organic muslin. I have to say that the cotton itself isn't actually certified, so just to explain what that means uh, is that it's uh, grown in an organic way, but the producers that we work with don't or can't actually afford the uh, organic certification. So we're very, very upfront about that, whereas we know it's, it is organically grown, um, it doesn't have any certifications. Um, but it is basically an azo-free uh, which is a nasty sort of chemical, um, the, the inks are azo free and it uses a hand blocking technique so I don't know if you can see there's sort of a bit of a pattern there going on um, and what they do is, is you'd carve out the stencil, uh, dip it into a um, into your azo free inks and then print it straight onto the fabric and that's all done by hand as is the actual weaving of the fabric itself as well so you can see well actually you might not be able to see there but it's got really beautiful texture on it it's sort of slightly uneven and it's because it's our muslin it's um it's got an almost brushed quality to it so it's a bit heavier than a normal muslin um, it's also slightly less see-through which is great so what lots of people have been doing are making sort of tops with it and things let me stand a bit further away so you can see it <laughs> so it's ideal for sort of tops and dresses um, but also we've seen a lot of soft furnishings made with it as well because it's so soft against your skin it's been great for um, pillowcases uh, and also things like napkins they're amazingly absorbent um, and what a sweet thing to have as a napkin you know something a bit different and then you can do a sort of matching uh, tablecloth as well which is really fantastic and it's a bit it's a bit kind of cool and a bit neat and, and it's such a great price for £6.99 a metre uh, for something that's hand woven and hand printed and it's just beautiful and one of my favourite bits about it, it's just going to go raving on about it, is this little print here which is a tree which is why it's called the tree of life so what um, for me this fabric's all about bringing life to something and bringing life to your home and into your life um, and also it, it really helps the people that make it um, so I think there's a huge uh, kind of theory around the tree of life that it brings you prosperity and it brings you health and joy and happiness and for me this fabric really represents all of those things and I absolutely love it and I really really hope that you guys do too. Um, so just a bit more about where it's made as well. So obviously everything's done by hand and we get it from a World Fair Trade uh, organisa uh, organization certified uh, factory. So it's a fair trade certified fabric. Um, and as I said, everything's used, maze, uh, with, all the prints are done uh, with azo free dyes, which is fantastic uh, and fantastic for the workers as well as for you. Um, and because it's all handmade, it uses virtually no energy or water in the process of making it. Uh, so they literally have a hand loom and they weave each fibre through. Um, so it, it also takes quite a long time to make it, as you can imagine. Um, the dyes are completely uh, ironable. I always say that you should wash the fabric before you get it anyway, just in case there is a bit of shrinkage or anything. Um, but all the dyes are stay fast and everybody said how great it irons and how great it looks after you've washed it a hundred times, um, which is fantastic. Um, because it's been hand woven, there are some uh, weaving irregularities. So there's sort of some slubs, which you can't even really, really see there, but there may be a sort of slub here and there. Um, I think that adds to to the nature of the fabric actually so you can really tell that it's a hand woven fabric and it looks much more authentic than a very evenly woven you know something that you'd get from a big manufacturing unit in Turkey or China. Um, the cotton is also biodegradable so obviously if you um, if it does go into landfill as long as it's it compacted in um, in soil it, it will it will degrade uh, and because it hasn't been made with any chemicals or anything it, none of the chemicals there won't be any chemicals seeping back into the uh, the environment which is horrid um, 
and yeah, I can't think of anything else that you might need to know about it. But anyway, this is how it drapes. So you can see it's sort of, it has got a really lovely flow to it, but it's not, um, you know, it's not like a satin. So it has got a bit of hold to it as well. So it's really nice if you want to drape and that's on the straight there, but you could drape it on the cross there as well. You can find it. So it's really, it is really, really charming. It's a really charming sort of fresh print as well. Um, and it ties perfectly into our um, our theme this week, which is because it's Andy Warhol's birthday on the 8th of August. Um, oh, sorry, on the 6th of August, we're celebrating prints and pop art and great colours. Uh, and blue is something that he, he really loved using in his work as well. So there you go. Um, enjoy. Enjoy. 